My true Yarens, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro, is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island Chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego will be drafted tomorrow. Hey Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that serve shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on, you ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. I got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. It would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck off. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. Fucking packet? Oh yeah! What's going on? What the fuck? Rapis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. You will join us to rebuild paradise. No! must report for Alejo, get down! Fuck Castillo! Alejo! Alejo! Police must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to review Paradise. We have to go. Now! Get the roof shot now! The boat. You're coming. You will join Promise us me, Lita. See. Come on, Danny. Baseball cards. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Go oh, yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? Give up his ticket. For his family. All set. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the boxing gown. Let them go. Here, that's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the young keys. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? No, no, this is a people boat. You be on, no, no! <laughs>
He was El Presidente. Mi papá loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sintirano! You have poison, Yara! You have poison your soul! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on his fucking boat. 13 years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch a release. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked. Vamos, vamos! I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop, Elita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. Lo siento, Lita. Show your face before you shoot me. I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. 
I said, are you the only survivor? Si, lucky. Need to know the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda! <laughs> You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny? Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita then. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Guapo? This is in a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, guapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. Boy! A la ping! You fucking rat. You were 
was more dead anyway. The fuck? See, Guapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. How many others? The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. When I was six, I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. Oh, yeah, Juan. <laughs> this is Resolver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but what the hell is this? This is a Supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See, si, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you reserve air, Juan. So do I. You want us to take down Anton ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hefa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today, I'm going to put a hole through Castile's warships! I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Viva Libertad, Danny. Bienvenidos 
a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Fedoras! Criminales! Puta. Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break, like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio, I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Then, enjoy the show. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave. Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best kid here. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50-50. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Castillo was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. You can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castillo controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. 
Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark, last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we gut Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Fili. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm going to get all these groups to sign up to Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Efa! Yeah, yeah. I'm not Clara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate one. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor. From the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? Do you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. You gonna cut me down or what, carajo? Ding! You must be Dahlia. Move. What the fuck? Hey, uh, you think I can keep this? No, yes. Hey, man! You just saved Maximus Matanzas, the most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. Though I would have done it myself personally, but you know, I couldn't stop crying. Get out of my way. I'm Bicho, man. I'm from Mexico. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna behave? Mi amor. Fuck, Italia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, big man, Palo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank ass swamp. Fucking puta. Coño. Oh, that's just foreplay. Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit and so are you. Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> They're animals. You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are they musicians too? 
Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Hope I was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertà can help all of you here. Libertà? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and I have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Pembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. Segunda. Bembe deals in the church. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What is wrong with Ola, asshole? He tried to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know. If I shoot you, Palo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda. You got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull, buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? Goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking them there. Papers. Wait a minute. Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for these. How do you think El Presidente found the Marios in face? Okay. Go through. You do beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, momento, amigos. This isn't your stop. Get going, yo. They're not going. Business expense. The fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. Mira! It's starting! And now for a special announcement. Hello, my beautiful foreign friends. Any questions before we begin? Minister Marquesa, are you concerned that- How do you respond to rumors that Diego Castillo is your son? I don't. Diego Castillo is the first son of Yara and an example to all true Yarens. Now, it is my pleasure to unveil the construction of the Anton Castillo True Yaren Cultural Center. Immediately. You see? This is the kind of cultural pollution we are fighting against. Ah, uh, we just need to borrow your phones and your cameras. <laughs> Everyone in Yara saw that shit! Oh my god, Danny! We have so much to do! I'm blowing my own fucking mind! <laughs> A 
Are you Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your bag? No where I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Did you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad. That's a big name to throw around. <laughs> but I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. OK. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. That's what he said, what did you want? Philly magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, our backbone. His family is gonna save our land. Great, take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero? <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you. You're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada. Oh, man. She's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. Stop! Please! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? Please don't kill me. <laughs> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, Private Island. Go when you need. No, but it's enough. No. And him? No. And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by oh. one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right again. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. What's going on? You're in the West now, Guerrero. The sword and the hero. <laughs> nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but... Lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is... I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's their blindfold? Papa, look around. 
These are farmers, no fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 leave Chorizo out of this. Our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us? That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for the surf, buddy. Come on. You lost, tourist? Listen, Carlos. I know you don't trust me or Clara or Libertad. Or well, the other little come mierda she sent. And I don't blame you. We have no history here. You got that right. What else you know? I know that Napoleon El Pequeño stole your land. I know that the poison he sprays on your fields is killing your people. I know that you are sick. And you would rather die than ask for help. Don't throw anything away that you can use. The depot where they store the poison? Burn it to the ground. The dusters. Let's spray the tobacco. Rip them apart. The fumigators in the fields. Kill them all. You got a heffy. Send me a postcard. Oh, ho. master of disguise over here. Shut up and get in the back. Okay. Carlos Montero, what are you doing here? Where's Miguel? I don't know. The guards took him somewhere in the prison. Mierda. It's off. We walk. Go. I'll find Miguel. If you get caught, it's you against the fucking army. It's okay, Papa. I want my big boy pants. Crazy motherfucker. Meet us at the gas station when you got him. Suerte. There he is, Senor Yara. Come on, get in. Hell yeah, brother. I knew you'd come for me. <laughs> you look like shit. I thought you motherfuckers were on rations. <laughs> Still a dig. Still dry. Good for you. I'll do it in case. <laughs> Miguel. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't come for you sooner. I tried. You know I'd never forget you. Enough bullshit, Carlos. We do what we do to survive, Mirma. Enough talk. Give me that fucking guitar. <laughs> you did good, tourists. When I first saw you, I wanted to gut you like a crocodile, but you're Montero now, Danny. Gracias. So, do I call you Papa now? Shut up and drink. Taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. Want to complain? You can swim.
Mierda. Smoking Mexican. Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. ¿Qué pasó? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's with the lieutenant we've been looking for. He looks more like a scientist. Este cosa ya. No. My hit the lieutenant. The hero returns. Yeah, and the hero needs room. <laughs> Big guy. What is happening here? Feeling magic, babe. Yeah, I almost died for packing foam. No, 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 no. White gold. Hard to get. Birds like a motherfucker. Everything got another purpose, Hero. Even you. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El Come Mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the Vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. Lord of heat. How you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. Get away from me! God, fuck me, mierda! Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time. Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Suéltame! Cojones! I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself. What is it? The spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa, I'm sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago, and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. How many times are we gonna bail them out, Papa? When does it end? Camila, this is family. I say we cut our losses. Well, you don't get a say because this isn't your fucking camp. What's going on? Jose got our people. He's gonna hand them in Verdera Square. Their own fucking fault they got cut. No. It's your fault. How many times have I told you they need to learn what it is to be a guerrilla from us? But you, you never listen. To get faith, you have to give it. I don't like it. So what? We're just going to leave them behind? Mierda. I know what that's like. Small pack. Us five. 
We go in, grab our people, kill whoever gets in our way. Jose is going to have military. We will need eyes on them. Well, the, the church got a built tower. You can see everything from there. Stay the night in the tower before the execution. Don't want anyone seeing you get up there. Got just a thing for you, Hiro. Fill your rifle with a high power scope. I'll plant the gun. Miguel, me, and Camila at the square. Philly waits at the radio tower. And on cell phones. Pero hasta el final, Camila. Is gonna die here. We need to move. Espada! I got, I got it. You cover me. Understand? Stand back, Hiro! 
I could have given up this whole fucking camp, but I didn't! Fucking Monteros. We're all dead, Camila. Castillo's already won. Balance your stance. A lion finds calm. Behold a kill. Si, Papa. Mm -hmm. Fire me! Ah! Yeah, bien, oh. uncle. <laughs> well, now you have heard of our great victory in the West. Carlos Montero is dead. His guerrillas on the run. The tobacco fields secure. Bien. Bien. Your cousin seeks praise, Diego. If I knew his plan, I would have told him that the Montero roots run deep in the farmlands. Two hundred years. Yes, uncle, I was trying to surprise you. Diego, how many of your uncle's soldiers come from the farmlands? Eighty percent, Papa. Correct. And now... He has made a martyr of the most famous Montero. <laughs> Let's see how many of his soldiers want to rebuild paradise now. Por favor. Uh, I... You killed my son's last bird. Run. What? Run. Defendiendo a su gente con su valor y sin dar ni un paso atrás. No llores porque Carlos Montero partió con ideas de libertad. Y aunque no esté con nosotros, siempre lo vamos a recordar. Su siembra. Just because we saved you doesn't mean we want you. Come on. This is his papa's funeral. Carlos for Alejandro? Shit trade. Alejandro. You've done enough. Go. Father, he's your brother. Yeah, not yours. How's the leg? I never knew your papa, but my family worked these lands for 50 years. I, I have intel on General Jose. Let me give you his lieutenants. Por favor. You'll need new uniforms, compais. Yeah, hero! Go your stuff! <laughs> Why is Daisy wearing an IED? Sometimes we gotta hurt the ones we love, hero! After she makes some napalm for us. But first, I gotta fix her. With a croquet. Yeah. The fires of the Filimagi. That's my Daisy! True love. They're shooting like they want to blow themselves up! Oh, they're about to. Oh, coño! I gotta get this truck out of here. You have to take care of this old Daisy. Don't let these dirty soldiers put their hands on her.
he says it goodbye for me, okay? Yeah. to walk the Philly magic. I'll see you back at camp. So what's the next move, Espada? You got any ideas? You're not listening. You're not listening. Shut your mouth. <laughs> we have to hit Jose's tabaco. Head enough out of you, Singal. You just gonna let this happen? <laughs> Long time coming, Danny. <clears throat> Montero Justicia. Stop! Your brother's a traitor. Si. And he'll spend the rest of his life making up for it. You ready to look in the mirror and admit your mistakes? You first, Camila. Fine. I voted for Castillo. I didn't want to, but Vivido was going to make us rich, wasn't it? Mierda, I doubted you. All of you. I blamed you for not being guerrillas. But Papa was right. To get faith, you gotta give it. If you want to... <clears throat> if you want to say, you have to think big. He don't wear it hurts. His tobacco fields. We dried out already. No, all of his fields at once. Draw his soldiers out, leave him open. That's smart. Well, lucky for us, Philly plans ahead. Me and the hero got you cover. Good. We divide our forces. Targeted strikes, checkpoints, guard posts, everything. In and out. And then we hit that airbase hard. Now what the fuck are we still doing here? Dale! Yaranos hasta el final, Roberto. Hasta el final. Nepal Niño. Metal bird, hellfire, and the hope of the West all in one. So you've flown this? No, never. I'm afraid of heights. But I'll be the wind beneath your belly. Moral support while you rip Jose a new one. <laughs> oh, 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 hero, hero. You're gonna need my soundtrack. Philly magic, babe. Hey, he's not here. Coño, you sure? Little Comenieta could be hiding in some tight places. No, he's. these out here. And Don loves me. He'll send this army to rape and murder every one of you fucking Monteros for this. I don't see no Anton. Or your true yard and friends. You know, my papa gave me this blade when I was seven. Told me how to throw it. How to kill with it. <clears throat> you look just like him. Tell me, is there enough of him left to bury? <laughs> But this blade doesn't really say Yara's might, does it? You took my land. You took my papa. And now it's time to give. Napoleon El Pequeño. No, like I remember it. Good boy, Chorizo. All is gone. Again. That's his choice. 
Him, Papa? Did he get a choice? Did he get to see us win something? You never would have won anything if you were still here. How the fuck would the Queen of Libertad know? I know he was never going to give you the farm, Camila. Or the camp. But look what you achieved. Espada, you are what the camp needed. You are what Libertad needs. You are the one to help us take down Castillo. She's not wrong, Espada. There's no future for the West without help. And there's no future for Libertad without the West. Monteros don't shake. We drink. To the Montero. To the future. You want to confess? Confess. Why are we here? You never even liked Jose. Why? He was an asshole. Why? He was weak. Me papa had a saying. God gives victory to the lions. Sounds religious. <laughs> Me papa love Jesus. He would always say, Jesus would make an amazing Yan and Presidente. Me and Dan always remember Jesus was both the lion and the lamb. Rule with strength, but understand suffering. You believe that? After he was murdered, your grandmother and I were left to survive alone. She would always remind me of my father's obsession with that verse. She hated it. Why? Because he had it all wrong. Be the lion and the lamb? No. She would say, Anton, there are lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. A Castillo must be a lion. For Yara is full of lambs. You don't talk about it. She was always strong, smart, powerful, but <laughs> a woman in Yara. And in those days, she had the wrong skin to lead. Me, Papa, was a lamb. What says a lamb? Hmm? You want to know why we're here? You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. El Tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Then we'll do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me and the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Her piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legend. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legend. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Danny Rojas from Liberta. The new feast of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on her side. Heroes to believe it. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. Have faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby tigre.
We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Horon was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Liberta and La Morale are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? That's the bien. You shook the tree. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I need six volunteers. I'll talk to my people, honey. B. Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Mierda. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use Lamarel's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. That is just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What, is there an age limit? I will plead for la morale if you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push-ups never lie.
So you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Me compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, Romano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on. Oh, head open. <laughs> Jackpot. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war, at least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Ojo por ojo. Viva la moral! Por... Benitas! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, sí, Mama. Same mistakes. New faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Unitas is private stash. Huh? Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was baby Tigre. Nah. 
Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si, viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the president has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched them die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for the is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> An announcement. McKay Industries invests 100 million into El Presidente's vision. So we hit McKay. He's the money behind Castillo. No. First we kill Castillo, then McKay won't matter. Yeah, what the fuck do we care about a Yankee in a suit? It's the money. No money, no tanks, no bullets, no soldiers. I got it. Elena, Honron, Lorenzo, me, and all of La Morale will go after Castillo. Danny, you kill McKay. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I was really tired of talking. Rewide! Batter up! <laughs> Elena, what's wrong? That was Gilberto. The attack. It wasn't to kick the fort. It was to keep us inside. Bad time for an I told you so. I came to say goodbye to an old friend. Back in 67, we didn't mourn our dead. Death was glorious. We were stupid. Castillo and McKay crossed the line today. More will die and nobody is safe. Not an old legend. Or a new one. Or the leader of El Este. Or the fist of the revolution. We have to stop Castillo and that Yankee. We? You kids look like you could use a little luck. How's it going there, backpack? 
How do you think, you Yankee asshole? Uh, well, Canadian asshole, actually. We're like Americans, except we say sorry as we slide the knife in. What you doing? You killed my friends. I'm here to pay you back. Mm. Gotcha. Now, when they died, did their brains leak through their ears and the nose? No, no, you know what? No spoilers. I'll check the footage once I put my little idiot to bed. Hey, primo job on Benitez, by the way. You did me a solid there. I was having this meeting with Castillo, and I saw the video of you animals hanging her. I mean, it's right here. It's on my phone, man. <laughs> he was... It's really ticked off. Good. You're next. Well, let's look at the facts. Your country's seven years behind the rest of us. If you just let Castillo and me do our thing, you people would go from third world to first. Like that. You people? Oh, I can feel their love. Jesus, Murphy, don't you get it? You're not my first gorilla. Yara's not my first shithole. This isn't personal, it's just your turn. So you just hang tight because I've got some real fun hombres heading your way. Sounds fun. What is that? What I need to destroy everything with your name on it. Security breach. See you soon, McKay. You fucking jerk off! <laughs> Where the fuck are you? Look, it's Anton's fucking zebra. That's the horse in some paint. See, but it'll make me famous. Mm. Take a pic. <laughs> uh. Hurry up! Take the fucking picture! Keep it still! <laughs> One more time. I fucking dare you. <clears throat> I'm good with animals. Are you Matthias? You don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Dalia sent me to break you out. Mm, fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor! <laughs> You did good, um... Danny from Libertad. You've done this before, no painkillers. Give me a hand. Only true Yarns get proper medical care. The rest get me. When he did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then, Paolo didn't blink. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to Castillo's paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live, thanks to you. Just one fucking soul, Paolo. We focus on the demo. Javier's cost enough free speech can get us an American deal. Ooh, an American record deal, a grand fucking celebration. What's going on? We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the loco everywhere. No, I painted them and stole the fucking zebra and killed for that local priest. No bullshit. You're doing the show. What priest? One song. Then we're out. Ah, oh, mi amor, I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs> Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. What is it, Bicho? We're gonna need to clear Marquesa's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. Okay, I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Cojone. So lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? You look like shit. <laughs> this always happens. Uh this always happens before a show. Hey. Finally! Verdad sobre todo, 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 verdad sobre todo! Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los yaranos. Tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya y bueno, es un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me tralla.
Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. Este día llegan respuestas definitivas, progresivas. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso seguimos tomando. ¡Con castigo! ¡Con marqueso! ¡Con paradiso! ¡Lejos de a la muerte! ¡Pero stop! ¿Me Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, miente la falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Se levantó de América, la que pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here. It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me. A real man doesn't run! Suerte. <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? ¿Qué clase de tontería es esta, María? Es el estilo americano. Let's talk Viviro. A cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father. But Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who look like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. In... Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones and Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my vibiro to America, my methods, your questions, no one will care. We're done here? For your father. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it is. What is it? You! I mean you! Look at you! Look at you! You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. That is not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this, and that's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends. 
just like you. Lito used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza School for the Lost. Then, Cadet 2683. Then after that, Drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I'm not a number. I'm not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla. Just like you. I use this. And you. You use that. Huh? Ah. Hmm. But I could be a cool fucking gun too. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidade. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvio Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Oh, don't, don't shoot! I'm just a scientist. Bitches, leave! Where that's it? Get shooting! True Yarens, welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Let's go, let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Doña Madre Esther. new phones. They're so thin. Oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Bibero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best death subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Missing motherfuckers? Come on, Cody, you're in space. You're with me now. Uh, he put something in me. Oh, God. He put something in me. Uh, Get out to Matias. Uh, Fucking go. Oh, okay. Okay. We meet there. Uh, uh, Matias! Uh, Danny, you're next. Paolo, keep us steady. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to get together, remember? <laughs> Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. Thank <laughs> you, feel, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Oh, how's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Oh, fuck. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Bicho, what the fuck? Get out of here, Danny. I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not? You don't think I will? Eh? Bicho, listen to me. You thought coming here was gonna fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest. A parasite. Yes. You take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right. Bicho, just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not a bug, man. You're not Bicho. What's your real fucking name? You want to fix something? Pull that trigger. We need to shut the fuck up right now. My name is Paz. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're Paz. Your name is Paz. You're not Bicho, man. You're not a bug. Your bus. And I need you with us, okay? <laughs> don't fail, Jamaco. You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. See, si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. 
The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria is dead. Viro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias has intel. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man, murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. <clears throat> I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now that Mama and Papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. <laughs> Concussion, grade two or higher. Laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Vivero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. Heard you got a spot on the night shift. Explosives here, here, and here. Speech starts, charges detonate, we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole. Which means? Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in, with Danny right in the middle. And then what? Danny kills El Presidente. It's beautiful. Hey, Danny. Danny! Look at that sexy Supremo! You want me to kill Anton Castillo? Today. Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraiso, live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you're good with this. Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed a president before. <laughs> it's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla meth! Christ, I need a shower. And you need this. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend. I call you. <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Viva Libertad. Nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny. And you? You know who I am. You are here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. 
Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be! You're not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yaren gets hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You're looking for one Chamaco. You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. This way. Fucking dictators. Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. But when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Bicho! Si, Capitan! Queen Clara! I mean, Hefa! Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest commandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's no Pedro Torero. Exactly, Daniel. La revolución vendrá. <laughs> Mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos, que aquí venimos <laughs> para luchar. True, Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego! Si, sí, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! Start the camera. I'm ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, chest up. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. It's about time. I need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the Viviro, I pick up the profits. Who are they drops for? You try these? I took one for research, now I can't stop. 
turn my piss purple. You want one? No. Who's paying us for the Viviro one? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA's in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of that? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc., etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask. And I'll never tell. It's a private club. Just you, me, and lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. Just remember, after La Revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. Bienvenido. You thought I would have noticed Libertad selling my Viviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! When the guerrillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. 13. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the guerrillas came. Every day I'm in charge. <laughs> crime by crime, piece by piece he paid to the guerrillas. But we would still talk every single night until they took his tongue for his lies to Yara. Stop! Papa, stop this! Who is this courier to you? Ah. I think we should skip a few steps, Raoul. Viva Libertad. The attack! The Hotel Paraiso. Danny was there. You... You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. We will give them a chance. My papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Tania. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it. 
I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. Wanna tell me why you drive me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're kidding, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live. And then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. <laughs> but the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. Backpacks here. Danny, the situation has changed. I don't want to hear it right now, Juan. See, si, see, si, he's a skin tag on a weasel's asshole. Well. But we just made a deal. McKay is offering us a fuck ton of cash if we let him go. We're talking real dinero, Danny. No way Clara's good with this. I'll deal with Clara. You and I both know the real war starts the first minute Castillo dies. And you can't win that fight without cash. Trust me. We've been doing pretty good with bullets. Leave him alone and head back to the port. I'm on my way there now. It's time to celebrate. We won! Go on, backpack. Go, go. Join the fiesta back on the mainland. I'm sure they're gonna have a piñata set up and everything for you. Yelena! I only wish Huron could have seen you put that fucker in the ground. Fuck McKay's money! Let's hear it for Danny! We should say something. I've given enough speeches. Then I think it's only appropriate you that I your time, time, Lorenzo. Lucky. <laughs> Today, for the first time in my life, I actually feel lucky. When I look into the eyes of your generation, I see the same fire, the same passion, the same hope I used to see in mine. Together, we have the chance to create something new. It's your turn. Let's make this Yara's last war. La Moral, Legends of 67. Bienvenidos al este, Clara. Welcome to Libertad. Gracias, but no. 
I'm not as good on its own. Is that right? We'll help you kill Castillo, but we'll also keep an eye on Libertad. You want me to trust this wrinkled up abuelo to fix Ariara? No. We fight. We don't follow. I like this one. That's two of us. See you in Esperanza. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are many who speak of the old revolution of 67 like a dream. That these murderers were heroes. They will destroy your future just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad. La moral. Murderers of 67. These are lies. The truth, they are all known by the same name. Terrorista. I have a vision to rebuild paradise. But these terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions! Juan, what the hell are we doing here? It's best to hide in plain sight. What? I told her not to go. I fucking told her. You told who, Clara? Juan, what is happening? He took her, Danny! He fucking took her. Clara. Castillo won in parlay, just the two of them. Said the war was over, Libertad had won. He just wanted an elegant exit. Played right into her fucking id. Castillo's dog smashed our convoy the moment we hit the coast. Fuck, so what next? You and me are going to invade El Presidente's private island. Por favor, no me puedes dejar aquí. Chesneans call it the elephant. You cut off the breathing tube, they rat out their own mother. Then they tell you some other fucked up shit. Hey, what's your size? Supremo on or off? We're going quiet. Every single soldier on that island was hand-picked by Castillo, so keep your distance. These are elite killers. You understand? Ready. I'll find sniper cover. You hit the house. I had my guess. It's family dinner. Stop staring. Sit. Danny, sit down. My mother had a rule. No lies at my table. And so, no lies for you. I have acute leukemia. I was diagnosed 13 years ago, but there was a doctor. He promised what we are all so desperate for, time. But it wasn't enough, was it, Diego? Papa, I don't want to hear this story. I needed insurance. But the irony was, I hated kids. But Maria, Maria, she had a way with words. And here you are, <laughs> mijo. 13 years strong. And what happened next, Diego? The Vivido stopped working. When? Six months ago. Ni mas sanidad condolencias. No lies at my table! I will be gone. But he... He will see the vision through. Won't you? Truth or lies? Always truth. You're a fucking monster. Ah, I think that was truth. Danny, watch my little firefly dance. You know when I captured Clara? I thought I had one, but it took 
my son to show me what was right before my eyes. You, you are Libertad. I'm just a guerrilla. No lies at my table. You're a legend. They tell stories about you. Come on. You are their hope. And now you will become my hope. You're kidding, right? And you still don't get it. I told you to leave. This is your fault. You want her to leave. You will accept the rank of general of my army. My Danny Rojas! Why are you so obsessed with dividing us? True Yarans, fake Yarans! It's one fucking Yara! Let us pick our own future! You're just some sick, dying old man. And you poor kid. Your brain must be so fucked up with his poison. No eyes on Anton. I'm taking out the kid. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm taking the shot. What? No! <laughs> What happened, Danny? We never talked about killing the kid. What do you care about some fucking rich mocoso in a castle? You think I'm a fucking idiot? You don't care about the goddamn kid. You just don't want La Revolución to end. We had her, Danny. He wasn't part of the plan. You are exactly what I said you would be. A junkie. You can't quit. Just like me. I am nothing like you. Not yet. Glada is dead. But we have the eagle's nest. This is where we'll launch our attack on the capital. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it or not, you are Libertad's jefe. So either walk away right now, or lead us to fucking victory. We never talked about killing the kid. Where are you going? To finish what she started! Clara dreamed of this moment. When I met her, I wanted to get the fuck out of Yara. Then she told me what... what we're fighting for. She explained it really well. Fighting with you has been great. Just great. I got your back, you have mine, you know? Even if you're old, if you're young, that's okay too. I like all of you. What I'm trying to say is going to win. I promise. <laughs> Shit, you're really bad at this. Yeah. Wow. Danny, Clara was a great leader, but there's a reason we joined Libertad. We're with you, jefe. Now, let's take our country back. Danny, viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Love you, Danny. We got you, Hero. You look like a bag of shit. Like looking in the mirror, no? Get some rest, compai. Be the legend tomorrow. Senor Presidente, we must consider your safety. 
Libertad is surrounding the capital. We need a clear view of the sunrise from here. Si, sí, senor presidente. I want yarns to catch the horizon at every intersection. I have several boats prepared. If we leave now, we can have you and Diego. This is the wrong design. I said Pereira, not Van Allen. <coughs> Do not pollute Esperanza with my father's obsession with our deco. Your eye is impeccable, Senor Presidente. Please, you must listen. At least the boy must be. Enough! <coughs> Wait, can you see it? Let's take a look at the plaza again. Something modernist, like Genere. You have killed thousands, set my city on fire, destroyed the dream of paradise. All that stands between you and the throne is me and my son. I'm no dictator. Lies. You are not Clara. Yara is burning, and you don't put out fires with free elections. He's about the same age I was. When Nicarias murdered my father. I never thought that you would have to face what they put me through. I am sorry, Diego. You are my lion. Everything that I did, I did to make you stronger. You are not going to kill him. He's gonna die anyway. Last lesson, Mio. There is one thing in life that will always be true. Do you know what that is? Death. See? You will protect him from your friends, from the monsters. He'll be safe. I promise. Lies. Diego! No! Everything's gonna be alright. Don't move, Chamaco. It's... it's okay, Danny. Don't talk. You smell that? That's the stink of fucking victory! Juan, the, he shot Diego in the fucking chest. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Forget the kid, Danny! Fuck you, he's bleeding out. Was he hit in the heart, Danny? Is he bleeding? Lucky, I don't know. There's, there's too much blood. Stay with me, Chamaco. It, it's okay. It's, it's okay, Danny. You were the lucky one. No, no. Move, Danny! Lucky, what's happening? I don't want to be the one to say this, but what do we do now? Yara needs a leader until we can hold elections. There's only one person I trust in this room. You better not say yourself. Yara is yours, Danny. Lo siento. No, it's not. I'm not a politician. Clara was. Maybe you are. The only reason we are standing here is because we didn't wait for one person to solve all our problems. When tyranny is law, 
revolution is order. Where are you going? Yara's yours. Don't fuck it up. To fallen heroes. To her Yara. <clears throat> you know, Danny, there's never gonna be an election. There's plenty of Castillo's friends out there who want to make sure of that. You want to go hunting? It's like I'm looking in a fucking mirror. Wants a guerrilla. Always a guerrilla. I ever tell you the story of the time Santos smuggled me into Uganda so I could steal him a goddamn Sebra? Yes. Angry motherfuckers. But that didn't stop me, Danny. Just gives me confidence. 